My name is Jordan Spindle. I'm an eyelid plastic and reconstructive surgeon here at Heat and Eye Associates. I grew up in Texas, went to Texas A&M Medical School in UT Houston, and then did my training for ophthalmology in New York City and plastic surgery training in Alabama. We now have moved my family back to East Texas and have uh, now practiced at Heat and Eye Associates and and I'm enjoying uh, growing the practice of eyelid plastic surgery here in East Texas, for which I'm the only two-year fellowship trained surgeon in the area. One of the primary procedures I do is called blepharoplasty. Blepharoplasty is kind of a generic term for eyelid surgery. This can be the upper or lower eyelids. Regarding the upper eyelids, oftentimes patients have skin that is hanging over and is actually covered by insurance. Alternatively, this can be a cosmetic surgery as well. This is a great surgery as patients are able to have minimal downtime. The surgery is about 20 minutes or so. The healing time is relatively minimal, a week or two of some bruising and swelling, very minimal pain. The difference is uh, very noticeable when you look at a before and after picture. Uh, however, patients don't, uh, nobody comes and asks them, hey, who did your plastic surgery or you look overdone? Uh, they say, how's your hair? Have you been on vacation or something like that? And so it's a, it's a great introductory you know, surgery to not only help their vision, but help their appearance as well. Also lower eyelid uh, bags, as most people refer them to, is a, is a good uh, operation for a lot of people to improve their appearance. This is often an age-related issue where the puffiness under their eyes gets worse as people get older. This is very reversible with a simple surgery to remove the fat pads underneath the eye to create a flatter, smoother contour allowing the patient's cosmetic appearance to be greatly improved. So I really enjoy eyelid plastic and reconstructive surgery as I'm able to see pediatric patients and also age-related eyelid issues in the elderly population as well and everything in between. I really enjoy being able to show the patients uh, their issues or what's wrong, uh, being able to fix these things with this usually simple procedures or operations and then we can see uh, from the patient's eyes that they're able to see better and subsequently look better as well. And this tends to make all of us uh, happy and uh, the patients go home with a smile on their face. Thank you.